Hey everyone, all right, so we're back outside again, getting some fresh air. It's way too bright. If anyone gives me shit about wearing sunglasses, because I know some people don't think sunglasses are a good idea or whatever, but when you have so much snow reflecting into your eyes, it's so bright. But anyway, yeah, maybe, maybe I don't need them, but I'm wearing them. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to talk about whether a raw food or fruitarian or whatever you want to call it diet works with meat because well I've already gotten one comment that I'm killing people apparently with my diet and that people never used to eat this way it was vegan or almost vegan and I'm killing people whatever <laughs> um no that's not you uh if you want to look at like all the raw food people passing away right now we can do that because Char's already mentioned this there's a big list going around and uh, it's not looking good for the average age of these poor people um doesn't doesn't help that the the babies are passing away from it but anyway does it work with me at the end of the day so yes it does it absolutely does um I was worried that you know, the meat would be too much, you know, like I wouldn't get the benefits of the raw food with the meat, but that's not the case. I'm definitely getting the benefits. Hello, I'm coming. I'm definitely getting all the benefits. Um, the high energy, the kind of, I don't know if you want to call it cleansing or whatever, like whatever the good things are, I'm getting them. <laughs> I do believe I am because my energy has gone through the roof. And someone said, you know, oh, it's because of um, autophagy or whatever, like you're burning your own fat. Uh, but I don't think that's the case because uh, I think there's a difference between refined carbohydrates, uh, not refined, complex carbohydrates and the simple sugars that are in fruit. Sorry, I'm just fixing this hat. Okay, come. So, the complex carbs take a lot more energy to digest. And so after a meal, you tend to get more tired, or at least that's how I felt. Like every meal, I felt so tired afterwards. And the simple sugars digest right away. So pretty much right away after a meal, I get energy and I have energy first thing in the morning. I wake up super excited about my day, happy about my day, and so energetic. And there's something about that energy that makes you happier. I don't think it's that like you are necessarily happier. I think it's just like, wow, you have so much energy now to get stuff done. So I just feel so happy first thing in the morning. I don't know. I'm, I'm excited. Whereas before it was like really hard to get out of bed. You know, it was like pulling teeth. I got to show you this. He's so cute. Hi. <laughs> The sunglasses are a little small. And I got another one there. My other son is out with his grandpa today, getting his hair cut. So, um, yeah, that's number one. <coughs> the energy is definitely there. I'm already seeing benefits in my youngest son's skin. Um, and then someone else is saying, like, my hairline's gonna recede because of this. Um, I'm still eating meat, dude. Like, it's not gonna recede. You need that protein. And that's why I think this is like going to be awesome. I think it's going to work really well for us, but obviously it's too soon to tell. Um, yeah. So what else did I want to talk about? How it works. <laughs> There's so much snow, but it's actually so hot today. It's like above zero. So we're decked out in like winter clothes. I don't know if I've shown you my sweet winter one piece, but, um, but it's so hot. <laughs> it's like above, it's like going up to 14 above zero, which is warm. That's Celsius. Oh, I just wanted to mention because someone was like, you shouldn't just not use doctors and stuff. We're, we definitely still have a doctor, by the way. 
I want people to know that. We still are working with a neurologist. And um, in Canada, the wait times are crazy right now for MRIs and stuff. It's gonna be another six months before we even get an MRI. So we've only had an EEG so far and we're still waiting. So that's why I have a lot of time to play around with this stuff. But I did want people to know, like we have a doctor, we're not just saying, screw doctors, we're not doing that. And maybe some people are gonna wonder about our teeth because uh, obviously we had teeth issues in the past. And I do think the sugar contributes to teeth issues. We're being very careful with like dried fruit. My kids have it, we brush our teeth right away. But in terms of teeth, like I'm not worried because we have those protective animal foods at the end of the day, as much as we want, you know? And, and even throughout the day, I'm gonna include a bit of like smoked salmon and stuff because my son was saying he would like that. So uh, for my oldest son, my youngest son doesn't like it. So we're gonna, so I'm not worried about the teeth. I'm not too worried about the teeth because I do think there's protection in the animal foods. And I haven't noticed like a huge change in my teeth uh, in the feeling of them. And I think all the complex carbs we were eating anyway would have affected our teeth. So I'm gonna keep a very close eye on them. We are using a special toothpaste with hydroxy appetite, which I'm really loving right now. I think it's called Rise Well. And I actually like notice like my teeth look a bit whiter. So we are going to keep an eye on the teeth though. Of course, that's a big concern. Anyway, so that's my little update. I think a like raw food fruitarian style diet, including meat and some, you know, once in a while cooked tubers or whatever you want, squash or like whatever you feel like, even if you feel like rice, I wouldn't be against it. So that kind of a diet, I feel like it's, it's an idea whose time might have come. Like raw foodists, I think you should consider this because A, I'm feeling awesome. I don't have the downsides of a raw food diet that I used to have, like the over sugared feeling or um, just the hunger all the time or the tiredness. Like don't, that's one thing. Don't let yourself get totally hungry all the time. Like you need to, if you are feeling that way, have a cooked tuber, have some meat, have whatever you want. Cheese, if you can tolerate milk and, and all that stuff. Don't let yourself get to that point. Don't make it uncomfortable and unenjoyable. And okay, some people like the feeling of fasting. That's fine. You can do that. But like the point when it gets unenjoyable, stop, right? Like and make it sustainable. Can you go inside? Okay, I gotta go. But <laughs> nice chatting to you. I'll uh, talk to you later. Bye.